He is coming. Cover your butt. I learned that it is assumed to be a gravity-driven device used to measure the assumed rotation of the Earth. Foucault's pendulum is one of my favorite experiments. As much as I would like to think that anyone can do experiments, I also understand that I will never have the opportunity to, say, use a particle accelerator. Foucault's pendulum, on the other hand, is incredibly simple to set up. Not just that, but it gives you predictable results. I learned that you could theoretically calculate your latitude at any given location on Earth with just a long string and a heavy object suspended from a tall ceiling set into a swinging motion. With just a little bit of math, you can predict the pendulum's precession or predict the latitude where the pendulum is located. This means that the pendulum can be built anywhere on Earth with only a few items by anyone and give predictable results. I say theoretical because, like almost everyone else in this world, I do not have the means or the security clearance level to build a very tall structure directly at the North or South Pole to conduct an unbiased experiment to make a conclusion for myself. A Foucault's pendulum can be built anywhere on Earth by anyone with only a few simple items. So, during my quest for knowledge about the Foucault pendulum, I think I might have stumbled onto a couple of tidbits of insight into the inner workings of the Foucault pendulums that have been used for scientific study and research and are currently in operation at universities, museums, and major shopping centers worldwide for almost seven decades. If you would like to see a Foucault's pendulum in action, you can find these devices in malls and universities. These displays are set up to help people visualize something that was first accurately tested in 1851. That was 166 years ago and has accurately been verified since over and over again. If you would like to verify it for yourself, all you need is a rope, a weight, and let it swing. Of course, this means that the best way to study Foucault's pendulum is the Flat Earther's mortal enemy, doing a carefully planned experiment. Another interesting fact I stumbled onto was this. All of the Foucault pendulums worldwide that have been used as a scientific representation of the Earth's assumed rotation are all electronically controlled using magnets with a carefully timed kick as the company states, to keep the pendulum in motion. That's right, a carefully timed kick to keep the pendulum in motion. A Foucault's pendulum that is built for a mall is built with one purpose, to entertain. A mall is not some bastion of scientific thought. It's where you buy shoes. It's no surprise then, the pendulums built for malls are built to keep kids entertained. It would also make no sense to build a device to prove the rotation of the Earth in the 21st century when the first Foucault's pendulum had already accomplished this 150 years prior. Of course, if you want to contest the results, you could always build your own. Or you could sit in front of your computer, pretend to do research, and then simply dismiss 166 years worth of scientific research because, insert lame excuse here.